As you saw last time, I had problems with wobbling. Now I will lower the center point to try to cope with that. I drill new holes in the beam connector. I place these about 1.5 cm higher up on the connector. I make them oversized to start with. On the holder, I also move the holes about 1.5 cm downwards. This will lower the pontoons about 3 cm in total. Also, these holes are green oversized. I tape one of the endings on the holder. And the connector. So that I can fill both new and old holes with thickened epoxy. I add some glass on the open side as well. This will make the board stronger than it was before. After curing, I remove the tape. Drill new, smaller holes. And test the lowered center point. Unfortunately, the centerpiece is too deep and is stopped from swimming by the deck. But I can easily remove a bit. And try it again. Now I can swing free from the deck. But the beam is stopped by a tight corner on the holder. I trim off a small part of the edge. Now the furler. I need two larger top and bottom plates. This will keep the furler line in place. I make these out of 4mm plywood that I cut with a hole saw. The center is made out of foam, about 4 cm in diameter. It needs to be thick enough to create the turning moment needed. In an earlier prototype it was too thin. I make holes in the plates and the centerpiece to place an aluminium pipe through. I cut the pipe to length. and test fit the pieces. I coat all with epoxy and glue the pieces together with thickened epoxy. After curing I can trim off the sharp edges so that the line won't get stuck. I then give the furler a second coat I will try an utter pipe to get a smooth rotation around the center. I cut a slightly thicker pipe to length. I need something to space a distance from the center out to the line holder for the furler line. Short strips of wood is cut. And the spacer is trimmed to the same thickness as the pipe. I will need some glass as well to strengthen the connections 
All thickened epoxy is rather strong. All pieces are glued together. And clamped to cure in position. After curing, I cut all the sharp edges. and trim back to the original shape. The second coat is added at the fork end and trimmed back. Now I can drill holes for the fittings for the line holder. This might work. I connect the sail and try it. it works, the water. I changed to a different colored sheeting line. I need to be able to easily differentiate between the lines. When opening the sail I need to keep the furler line somewhat stretched. In the sail head I will need a new eyelet for better rotation. The material is too thick to punch through. Instead I melt a new hole in the luff. And put some glue on the new eyelet. Before pressing it in place. Now everything rotates better. I also had some issues with the control board. I had problem pressing the fabric back in place. Now I face off some material. And I'm ready for a new test run before the ice settles. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time.